Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and today we're going to look at mastering keys in the key of C major and we'll learn three big ideas that will make a big difference in your playing. Let's take a look and I'll show you how it works. So today we're going to be using the Mastering Keys Level 1 book here and we're going to start with the key of C major. This is a free tool. I'll show you how to access that here in a little bit. And then we're also going to be using my Essential CGDA book and uh, we'll look at the complete too when we look at the scales my complete edition so um, in the essential edition here you've got your three major chords with colored circles and then you've also got your three minor chords that make up the key in colored circles also so it's a big deal to know what are those six main chords that make up the key and learning what are the roman numerals that's really huge and then i want you to rate yourself on each chord whether you can't play it at all that's noper or kinda or mostly or yepper means you totally got it and see if you can move all six of those chords to the yepper column and see if you can uh, memorize what those chords are because it's really important to um, being able to figure out songs on the fly to just know what chords fit in the key and then when you're using songs or playing songs that use chords from outside of the key so we're gonna look at those chords real quick and how to build them um, that's one cool thing about toolboxes is that you can see the notes that make up the chords. So C major, the, if you've played a, a tenor for a little bit or CGDA instrument, you've probably seen this one. That's C, G, E, C. C, G, E, C. But when you know those notes that make up the chord, you can find other ways to play it. So that's C, C, E, C. Or I can play up here. That's E, C, G, C, or I could play G, C, um, G, E, like this, and be able to play those chords all up and down the neck. So that's C major, that's my one chord. We'll focus on this shape mostly today. And then for the four chord, uh, it's F major. So the easiest F major is... F majors are made of the notes F, A, and C, so that was C, A, F, A. But I can also, if I know the notes that make up the chord, that's C, A, F, C. I could play a, a power chord here. That's F, C, F, C. I could play this shape. That's F, C, A, F. So again, seeing those chords all up and down the neck is absolutely huge. And then for G major, it's always made of the notes G, B, and D. So the easiest G major is like this. That's D, G, D, B. But I could also play... That was D, B, G, D. Or I could play... That's D, B, G, B. Uh, here's that power chord. Power chord means you're not playing the third note. So out of G, B, D, you're skipping the B note. Um, those are really cool chords and they have kind of a cool, kind of a cool sound there. So that's the three major chords, the one, four, and five. And then for your three minor chords, you want to be able to play a D minor so I could play D minor power chord, uh, which would be just D and A, skipping the third or the flat third for a minor chord. So the just D and A would look like this. And it's kind of just out there. Like it's not major, it's not minor because you're missing that third note. But I could also play here like this. So that's D, A, F, D. I could play... Um, F A, I'm sorry, F D A D. Um, so finding those shapes up the neck, I'd recommend pausing and just kind of seeing how many of those shapes you can find up the neck and pay attention to the way that those shapes just move up the neck. So it's all the same shapes for major, uh, all the major chords have the same shapes, all the minor chords have the same shapes, um, just moved at different parts of the neck. And then for E minor, I could play a lot of different things of course um, I could play that's E and leave this G open E B that's cool because it kind of rings out that G I could play 
that's E B G E. Um, there's just so many cool shapes. And then finding the ones that work for your hands. This one would be kind of brutal. That's G B G E. Um, so that's your three chord, your E minor chord. And then for your four chord, I'm sorry, your six chord is A minor. So I could just play these two here. That's C, A, E, A. Or I could play that's C, A, E, C. Um, and that's your six chord. So once you can play those chords, then the next cool thing to know and the next big idea is what are some chord progressions uh, that are common in the key. So using just those six main chords that we learned, what are some different ways to play those chord progressions? And you can play them with free jam tracks if you click here, which takes you to the Fretboard Toolbox website and you go to 200 free jam, you go to tracks and tab, then 200 free jam tracks. Then in all these common keys, I can um, G, A, C, D, E, and F. Then I can click on any of those, and it's me playing those on guitar, uh, on a six string guitar, and then you can play along with them and practice those different chord progressions uh, at all these different speeds. And there's cool stuff to listen for with those chord progressions. So uh, if I want to play a 151, that's a 151 is, is C, G, C. So C, G, C. Or I could play a 145, C, F, G. C major or I could play a 154 which is C G F that's your 154 for a 1645 remember that that a minor chord looks like looks like this so going from a one to a six c major was just c g e c and so if i just add this a here now it turns it into an a minor so that's a cool shape um, on the um, tenor guitar here so here's one six four five C. <clears throat> then for a one six two five, I need to hit a B minor. I'm sorry, a D minor. So um, I could play this D A F and leave the A open. So let's try that. So here's C major. Let's try again. Here's C major, A minor, D minor. G major and you might start thinking like oh that chord progression sounds familiar and that's because uh, chord progressions are not copyrighted like chord progressions if we copyrighted chord progressions we'd be out of songs real fast melodies can be copyrighted but not uh, not chord progressions so just running through those chord progressions especially with the jam tracks is really really beneficial and it's made a huge difference for me and then once you got the second big idea, which is those common chord progressions, the third big idea is going to be soloing scales. And so I want you to know the major scale and the major pentatonic scale. And so you can see them on an essential edition uh, with the white boxes is the C major scale and the underlying notes is the C major pentatonic. And uh, but for me, it's a little easier to see those um, scales on the complete edition. So if I go to my complete edition, this one doesn't have the colored circles, but it has all the keys. And so it's got all the major keys, the relative minor, and the blues keys. So if I go to the key of C major, 
Um, you already know those chords and the Roman numerals that go with them. You know some chord progressions, and then we just want to be able to see where's my major scale notes. So if I want to go from this C to this C with the major scale, I just need all the white boxes. So that would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then if I want to go from this C to this C, that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then once you know those notes and you can find those shapes all up and down the neck, then melodies, that's where they come from, is those notes. So that's my major scale, and you can find them all up and down again. So this C to this C, would start up on the fifth fret here. So C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, C. So uh, major scale notes, really fun. And playing those with the jam tracks is really, really great too, um, because then you can hear real chord progressions and that, that loop as long as you want, and, uh, and then practice playing scales and playing melodies with them. And if I want to see the major pentatonic, it's just the underlying notes. So C, D, E, those are major scale and major pentatonic. Major pentatonic skips the fourth note hits the fifth and sixth, and then it skips the seventh note. And if you want to see that up here in this first row, everything in white boxes is your major scale. And then your major pentatonic is the one note, the two note, the three note, skip the four, five, six, and then skip the seven. So to play some major pentatonic scales down here, go from C to C, I just want to play the, just the underlined notes. <laughs> this C to this C. And that can get you really far. So I would recommend pausing this. You could also, you can pause this video and then get the jam tracks playing on your phone or some other device and then use the key of C major jam tracks and start moving around and see if you can find some cool ways uh, to play those scales. So again, those three big ideas, I wanna know what chords sound good together and what are the Roman numerals. I wanna know what are some chord progressions uh, in the Roman numerals. And then I want to know what are the major and major pentatonic scales so I can start soloing with them. So this uh, free Mastering Keys book has the keys of C, G, D, A, E major, and then A minor and E minor. And if, once you can get those keys down, then uh, picking up new keys is a lot faster and, uh, and hopefully helps you see stuff in a whole new way. So if you would like to learn more about Fretboard Toolboxes, if you go to the Fretboard Toolbox website and then you go to pick your instrument, we can go to, this is the CGDA book, Tenor Guitar, Tenor Banjo, and Mandola. And you can read about my Essential versus Complete books. Um, that's the most common question I get asked. You can check out print versus ebook options. You can see all my CGDA videos. And you can click look inside on, on the Essential or Complete books and get all of the instructions plus the key of G major pages for free. And then if you want to see the Mastering Keys, if you go to Free Tools and click on Mastering Keys Checklist, then you can, um, you can download that tool for free. And there's all sorts of cool stuff here. If you poke around, uh, uh, hopefully you'll find some really neat things that you maybe haven't seen before. Because all this stuff I set up for myself so that, so that I could understand music a whole lot more deeply. So I appreciate you stopping by today, and I'll be back on more Fretboard Fridays with more videos on more of my favorite instruments.